Woohoo! Let's go! Hi, I'm Bree, and I'm our Head of Curriculum here at Codable. We get asked a lot if there's anything kids can design or create outside of our structured curriculum and game. I'm going to show you today in our Tip of the Week video series how kids can use our new creative content to design and build their own mazes and their very own fuzz family while applying their programming skills that they learn throughout our curriculum. From your home screen, you'll be able to access the Maze Maker, which requires students to use sequence, conditions, loops, and functions. As students move through the units, these additional commands will unlock. Let's click Create to get started. Once you get to the Maze Maker, you'll see there's an option to complete challenges that have already been given to students. Below this, you'll see a button where you can build your own maze, which is what we're going to be doing today. The Class button allows any student to access a maze another classmate has built so that they can try solving it themselves. Let's build our first maze. Once you select a background, you can start dragging blue tiles to lay down the path of the maze. I'm making a simple maze, but as students progress, additional commands like conditions, loops, and functions will become available too. These are our condition tiles. Here are stars that we need to lay in the correct path of the maze. Since mazes must be solvable, use the stars to lay out the path. You can add decorations to your maze. And then it's time to test your maze. Use the arrow commands to test and solve the maze that you just built. Once you solve the maze, it will save, and the maze will be added to the class collection for others to view and try. Now that you know how to use our Maze Maker, head to our lesson library on your teacher dashboard to find a mini lesson that will help you introduce this to your students and get started.